Split our NBA plays yesterday on the show, but did give you three look-aheads in college football for Saturday. If you missed those, go back in the archives. Check them out here on the Wage Talk YouTube channel. It's a 178, 159, and 11 overall run with free plays here on the Power 5. Time to have ourselves a weekend. On the show today, I got four NBA winners for you, plus a little something in Friday college football. As a reminder, you can always comment down below with your thoughts on these selections. Also, if you'd be so kind to hit that thumbs up, your support, always greatly appreciated. So here we go. Number one, New York Knicks. Team total over 111.5. They are in Detroit tonight. Knicks, 7.5 point road favorites in this one rather than lay that. Let's just call for them to score a bunch of points against a team a Pistons team they've beaten 15 straight times going back to the 2019-2020 season. Now, if you go back to Wednesday's edition of the Power Five, I said Carl Anthony Towns was due to break out, have big, have himself a big game. Sure enough, he took 25 field goal attempts, ended up with 44 points in a what in a win over Miami. Pardon me. I think Towns could very well have a big, another big offensive night here. Furthermore. The Knicks are third in the league so far in offensive efficiency, trailing only Cleveland and Boston. And here's how many points the Knicks have scored in their last seven wins over the Pistons. 130, 121, 140, 117, 118, 113, and 124. Again, team total for tonight, currently sitting at just 111.5 at DraftKings. I say up and over. Number two, let's go under 232, the game total in Celtics. Hornets, like the Knicks game, this one tips off 7-10 Eastern. Celtics off their first loss of the season. They did rally from a 24-point deficit, though, to force overtime in Indiana. Eventually, they go down 135-132. Meanwhile, Charlotte off a wild 138-133 win over Toronto, a game in which they led by as many as 23. Hornets at 23 pointers against the Raptors, something I don't think we'll be seeing again this evening. Nor do I see the triumvirate of Trey Mann, Cody Martin, and Grant Williams combining for 69 points off the bench again. Now, I understand it's scary being an under when Boston is involved, as no team in the league has been better offensively, mainly due to an insane three-point volume that is on a record-setting pace through the roof. But Charlotte's been pretty good at defending the three-point line this far, and 232 is a high total in my view. Only one of the Hornets' first four games had a total north of 227. That one stayed under. This one will as well. Number three, I will lay the eight and a half with the Lakers in Toronto tonight. The Lakers coming off a humiliating performance in Cleveland where they got beat 134-110 as four-point underdogs. Bronny James did score his first basket as a pro, but uh, not enough, needless to say, as the Lakers failed to cover the spread. For the first time all season, as a team, the Lakers turned it over 21 times. That was a season high, which led to 31 points for the Cavaliers. Six of those 21 turnovers were from LeBron James. Also, Cleveland could not miss. Cavs shot 77% in uh, the first quarter as a team, collectively. Pretty incredible stuff. Anyway, I think the Lakers bounce back here. Already talked about Toronto's last game earlier in the show. Again, they were behind by as many as 24 Wednesday in Charlotte. Gave up 138 points. This is a Raptors team dealing with a lot of injuries, guys. Anthony Davis of the Lakers has declared the next three games as, quote, must wins for his team. I just think the Lakers have their way with a bad Toronto team that is dead last in the league in defensive efficiency. Number four, an even bigger number that I'm going to lay on Friday's NBA slate is in Portland, where Oklahoma City is an 11.5 point favorite. Thunder are one of just two teams still undefeated, Cleveland being the other. And it's difficult to see how Portland keeps pace here. They've lost 12 straight times to OKC, including by 62 last January. That was the fifth largest defeat in NBA history. Again, we are asking for the Thunder to win by only 12 this evening. That may sound like a lot, but consider the Thunder have won their first four games by an average of 17.5 points per game. OKC is number one, by a mile in defensive efficiency thus far. Portland is 29th, next to last, in offensive efficiency. So the home team likely struggles to score here. And simply put, this is the best team in the West taking on the worst team in the West. Lay it. Double digits on the road. And I will close things out today in college football with a money line parlay. Yes, let's get a little exotic here. We're going to take UConn. And FAU both to win. UConn is currently minus eight and a half over Georgia State. 
Well, FAU is currently plus two and a half at home versus USF. UConn is also at home for the record. Now, you parlay these two sides together. It's plus 171 if they both win straight up. That's all we need. Just two straight up wins plus 171 odds. UConn looks to get bowl eligible with a sixth win on the season tonight. They've won four of five overall. Only loss came against Wake Forest by a field goal. And that was with some questionable officiating. Uh, just ask Jim Morris Jr. about that. Uh, in fact, both Huskies' losses this season have been to ACC teams. The other one was against Duke. Last week, UConn's defense did not allow a touchdown in a 17-10 win over Rice. Rice's only TD was a kick return. Rice has since fired its head coach. Then you look at Georgia State. They've lost four in a row, all by seven points or more, since a stunning upset win at home against Vanderbilt. So I don't think asking for a straight-up win here from UConn against this Georgia State team is a big reach. Now, FAU, a slight home dog against USF, so I'm calling for an, a minor upset here. But USF has really been struggling without their starting quarterback, Byron Brown. And I know FAU's only two wins this year have come against FIU and an FCS team, but I don't think USF is so demonstrably better that they should be favored tonight in Boca Raton. So again, it's a money line parlay, UConn, FAU, plus 171 odds. Let's now go back. Do a quick recap of the Power 5 here on Friday. Number one, New York Knicks team total over 111.5. Number two, under 232 in Celtics Hornets. Number three, Lakers minus 8.5 at Toronto. Number four, Oklahoma City minus 11.5 at Portland. And number five, Moneyline Parlay, UConn and FAU in college football. Again, go ahead. Comment down below with your thoughts and questions. Do you think a money line parlay is a good idea? Let me know. I'm interested to hear. I'm also interested to hear and read what you're betting on this weekend in college football, what you're betting on tonight in the NBA. Smash that like button if you already haven't done that as well. And after you've smashed that like button, head on over to wt.buzz slash bp where you can find all of my winning picks for the weekend. I'm still number one in college football this season. And coming off a nice 4% best bet winner in the NFL on Thursday with the Jets. By the end of the day Friday, you will find my complete college and NFL cards available at wt.buzz slash bp. I plan on having four plays in college football on Saturday. Four more in NFL on Sunday. Might be adding some soccer as well. Again, 63% with all college football this season. Now 63% with NFL sides as well after last night's winner. I think you're really going to like this weekend's card. It's going to be a big weekend for me. I can feel it. And on that note, that will do it for Friday's edition of the Power Five. Make sure you are subscribed to the Wage Talk YouTube page. And until next time, guys, I'll be back Saturday with some college football winners. Let's cash some tickets.